1. The fire. Fire is the only one of the most important inventions on this list that wasn't made by Homo sapiens modern humans. Because even Homo erectus, an extinct prehistoric man, used fire 1.5 million years ago. To roast delicious meat dishes, to keep warm, but also as a weapon against animals that are naturally terrified of fire. The lighter. It is undisputed whether Homo erectus were able to start a fire themselves, presumably they had to secure a naturally occurring fire and then guard it. The world's first lighter ever found, discovered in a cave in what is now Baden-Württemberg, is 32,000 years old, at that time the Homo erectus had long since become extinct. How the Stone Age lighter works. A flint is struck against pyrites with a skilled hand, the resulting spark triggers embers in a tinder sponge. These small embers are then fed into a real fire. Significance today. Fire is needed in all internal combustion engines, from cars to airplanes to rockets. Also in oil and gas heating systems. Steel and rubber, which we need for machines, means of transport and buildings, are made with fire. Last but not least, most weapons only work with fire. Fire is still one of the most important inventions of all time. 2. Agriculture. Agriculture is often underestimated as the most important invention of all time. Its effects on humanity were so revolutionary that they are referred to as the Neolithic Revolution. When and where. Agriculture was first practiced on a large scale in the Levant, near East and Southeast Europe, 11,000 years BC. The new form of food procurement then slowly spread across Europe over the course of thousands of years. 3000 BC the hunters and gatherers in northern Europe were then driven out by the farmers. The advantages. Homo sapiens lived as nomads for around 150,000 years. In small groups he followed the large herds of animals. He did not build permanent settlements, but found temporary shelter in caves or primitive tents. Food was always scarce because it depended heavily on hunting and gathering luck. Each member of the group was mostly occupied with foraging and hunting, and human growth was slow. That changed abruptly with the invention of agriculture. People stayed in the places where they worked their fields. The farmhouses made of clay soon grew into the first cities of mankind with granaries and temples. The farmers produced so much surplus that more children could be fed. In addition, groups such as craftsmen, officials and soldiers could be fed. Today's meaning. 99.99% of humanity today is based on agriculture, except for some remaining nomadic tribes in the Amazon region. Animal husbandry is also only possible through agriculture, since the cattle are fed with the harvested products of the fields. The food processing industry also needs the resources produced by agriculture in addition to the chemical kits. 3. The time. Of course, man did not invent time because time is a property of the universe as the fourth dimension. However, he invented increasingly sophisticated methods of measuring time in the form of calendars and clocks. And this turned out to be one of the most important inventions of mankind. The first Stone Age calendars already existed in 8000 BC. These were massive structures similar to Stonehenge, see image. With this one could determine the day of the solstice and thus also count years. The first modern calendar based on the moon was developed by the Sumerians around 2000 BC. Here the year already had 12 months and the week 7 days. About 500 years later, the Egyptians invented the first clock in the form of a sundial. The day, like the year, was divided into 12 units, hours. Since the sun did not always shine, mankind was inventive and developed water clocks and hourglasses. The first mechanical clocks with weights were invented by monks in the Middle Ages in order not to miss their prayers. The first quartz watch was invented in 1927 and digital watches began to appear in the 1970s. 4. Smelting, metallurgy. Even in the primitive, Stone Age variant, metallurgy requires a great deal of specialist knowledge and good organization. The ore-bearing rock is mined in a mine and then transported to the blast furnace, the first furnaces were simple pits in which a very hot fire was heated with all sorts of tricks temperatures above 1000 degrees because the melting point of copper and gold is over 1000 degrees. The metals exuded from the rock are taken to the forges in the form of roughly hewn ingots, where they are further processed. 
The trade routes had to be secured with soldiers to protect the valuable goods. When and where? The enormous importance of this new discovery can be seen from the fact that entire ages were named after the metals. Copper Age around 4000 BC CHR. First furnaces for copper extraction as early as 4500 BC in what is now Serbia. Bronze Age, 2700 BC to 800 BC. Civilizations from the Euphrates Tigris Basin such as the Sumerians reached the Bronze Age first. Iron Age, from 1500 BC. Leading again were civilizations of the Near East. In Central Europe the Iron Age began from around 800 BC. Significance today. Iron, often in the form of steel, is needed in vast quantities today for high-rise buildings, bridges, cars, ships and weapons, as well as pipes and engines. The pig iron for steel is still extracted from iron ore in a blast furnace. 5. The wheel, when and where. 4000 BC in Europe north of the Black Sea, then rapid spread of the epic making invention throughout Europe. The principle. A wheel rotates constantly around its own axis, it is used for transport, but also in machines. The advantage. Before that, heavy loads were moved with sleds. Wheeled barrows were much more efficient, faster and required less manpower. They facilitated and promoted trade. Significant advancements. 4000 BC BC. The potter's wheel in the Indus culture. The wheel is not used here for transport but as part of a machine. 2000 BC CHR. The spoked wheel, invented in the Orient, allows much higher speeds and can be used well for battle chariots. 300 BC BC. First primitive gears in China and in antiquity. Today's meaning. Wheels are still indispensable and in use everywhere. On cars, trucks and airplanes and as gears, flywheels in machines, factories, power plants. Thanks for watching your Factfinity team.